Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the next few days. Um, Aquarius, I feel like there's a need to write something down before you forget it. Like write something down quickly. So the next few days, like make sure that you got your notepad out, your iPad, your iPod, your iPhone or, you know, cellular device, notepad or some regular sticky notes laying around because I feel like you guys are going to be a gold mine for ideas and you're going to want to write them down before you forget. Okay. So get you a sticky note. Okay. What do you got for Aquarius spirit? What do you have for Aquarius? I feel like Aquarius, something requires more experience. So you're going to need to maybe go back to school uh, regarding something. Something requires um, more education. Okay. More knowledge is required. We got the five of swords. We have the three of swords. Okay. Some of you guys could be in a tit for tat or a little bit of an argument war with a Taurus. Okay. Uh, five and the three. I see you kind of fighting with somebody. Five of swords, three of swords. I, I feel like someone here gets like increasingly jealous or possessive, like over time, as time goes along, this person gets like more, more strung out or like more crazy. So like, if you're letting someone go or something go Aquarius, uh, you're dodging a bullet. Like over time, someone gets like more psychotic. Like it's, it's kind of like the monster that, that doesn't reveal themselves on your wedding day. But then later on, you discover that they have all these issues or the girlfriend, you know, the monster, the girlfriend or boyfriend on your wedding day or that you're dating that you don't find out is crazy until you're like four years in and you're about to propose or something. So, you know, th this person, okay. Five of swords, three of swords. I'm kind of getting someone here likes fighting. Someone here likes the tit for tat. What is this five of swords for Aquarius? I want to say that no, something is not normal here. Like you're, you're, you're engaging in some kind of back and forth behavior with someone. Like, no, this is not normal. This is not love. This is uh, toxic. It's drama. And it's, um, it's, it's repetitive. It's petty. Like this is not... Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo because I think I got the same question for Leo about like, is this normal? Like Leo was questioning, is something normal? It's interesting because Aquarius, you're their opposite sign. So there may be something going on between you two, similar, similar energies. But what's this five of swords for Aquarius? Five of swords, the king of pentacles. Give me one second. Let me turn something down real quick. Hold on. Sorry, I had something playing and I couldn't hear it. Like I couldn't hear what I was couldn't focus on what I was doing. But um Five of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Swords for Aquarius. Five of Swords, King of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. I feel like um Aquarius, I don't I don't know what this is. It feels like you're dealing with someone here that is very argumentative. Like they like to fight, they like to tit for tat, they like the war. But someone here is like self-sacrificing. It's like someone that's going to instigate an issue, but they want you to win. Like someone here wants you to be the victor. Like they want you to come out on top while they sacrifice themselves. So I don't know if someone here is like self-sabotaging because it's like, why do you start fights? And then you want the other person to win. So what is the point in starting the argument? Like if you want them to walk away from you or someone like that or someone, some, I don't know, this person starts arguments and fights and they want you to be the one that walks away or that leaves them or something like that. Um, I feel like this person self-sabotages. Like, I feel like this is literally self-sabotage. Someone here starts these conflicts, these, these issues, and, you know, that, that, that kind of reaffirms some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy that they have about, oh, I'm undeserving. Look, they left, you know? But it's like, you started the problem that made me leave. So, you know, I feel like someone here, um, this is someone here that does major self-sabotage, okay? What is this three of swords for um, Aquar Aquarius? I was about to call you Sag. Uh, you guys could have Sag in your chart. I'm getting an energy of like somebody here likes to gossip a lot. What is this three of swords for uh, Aquarius? Three of swords and the Hierophant. Okay, so this could be um, this could be a separation. This like to put it like if I'm gonna read straight up tarot like the meanings, this could be. Uh, a, 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 mar a marriage is ending or a commitment is ending. Okay. A separation. Okay. Or something has already ended because of this self-sabotage, the back and forth. Okay. I, I don't, I, <laughs> three of swords and the hierophant or someone here has an issue with like a previous commitment that you were in that's over now or something. I don't know, but I don't know. It's like, this is like tit for tat blocking. Like 
I don't know if it's you or someone or the other person or if it's both of you guys that feel trapped in this and then you know after all this fighting you guys you guys need to like not speak for a while and then you go back to normal then you could then you resume fighting and it just feels like you're in this constant cycle like this this restriction you know it feels like you guys feel trapped or blocked in this like something here is is, is toxic this is abusive okay this is not healthy with this person this is not a healthy amount of argument or conflict or a healthy amount of anything this is all like I don't know. <laughs> this is this is a I don't know. This is not good. Um, who is this with for Aquarius? Who is this? Who is this five of swords? This who is this with? The Emperor. It could be someone that's very controlling. Okay, it could be with someone that is extremely toxic and extremely controlling. This could be someone that's older than you. Okay. Um, some of y'all, this could be an Aries, because we got the King of Wands, the Emperor, that's straight up Aries energy. For some of y'all, Aries, I believe is um Aries is Mars energy, and I believe Mars is like metal, like uh like piercings and all that stuff, like anything metal. So this person could have jewelry in their mouth or in their in their ears or like their body. I don't know if they have like body modifications or something like that. Like they may have like a lot of metal in their body. I don't know if it's from like injury or like aesthetics, okay, like earrings or something, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else do you got for Aquarius spirit? What else do you got for Aquarius? Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. What's this Knight of Wands for Aquarius? Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands. Uh, I, I see you searching for jobs or searching for something to do, Aquarius, but it's like every, 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 well, <laughs> that was like a, I just sounded like a, um, like a, what do you call that? Ever, 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 like a DJ or something every job or everything that you look for it requires more experience and it's like okay but you know that's the shit that pisses me off with jobs it's like you want experience how am i supposed to get the experience if nobody was going to hire me until i get experience so where the frick are you supposed to get this experience from so i feel like you guys are maybe like feeling at you know you guys are feeling like you guys are at odds with the universe a little bit because i don't know you're trying to assess your options and it's like i don't know what to do or where to go knight of wands the two of wands what is this for Aquarius? I just feel like uh, Aquarius, you know, something just takes confidence. Like even if you don't have the experience, just go for it anyways. Like just charge ahead. Don't wait for something to come to you. Don't wait for it to make sense or for you to feel fearless. Like if you, if you, you know, sometimes waiting for waiting for the fear to go away, the fear is never going to stop. Like you're always going to be afraid. You have to do it scared. You have to do it afraid. You have to do it. You have to be brave sometimes. Okay. You have to be courageous. So th this, th there's a situation here that calls for you to just be confident or have some confidence. What's this Knight of Wands for Aquarius? What is this Knight of Wands for Aquarius? Knight of Wands, Four of Cups reversed. Some of y'all I'm getting sad, strong. And what is this Two of Wands for Aquarius, two of wands, two of wands, the 10 of wands. Okay. So that's the eight of wands. If you subtract that, what is this for Aquarius? Uh, I feel like something is a trick Aquarius. Something here is like a setup or a trick. Like don't get, don't get caught up in somebody's web of like lies or, or information. Like someone here is like setting you up for like failure. Someone here knows exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're signing you up for. So I want to say don't fall for the trap or the trick. Uh, it feels like somebody here is literally like signing you up for failure. Okay, like they, it's like someone here knows what how something's going to turn out, but like they keep doing it anyways. Um, I, this could be the same person that self-sabotages, but like someone here knows exactly what they're doing. So I want to say don't fall in, don't fall for the trap or don't play into someone's game or fall for their tricks. Okay. I feel like you guys could be dealing with someone that's like very deceptive. What is this trap here for Aquarius that you're telling Aquarius not to fall into? Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. What is this trap for Aquarius? The Chariot. Okay, that's Cancer Energy. I feel like something here gets expensive or it's like a waste of your time and your energy and your resources. Like, you know, you kind of lose more than you gain in a situation. So I want to say don't fall for something. Whatever this is, don't take some kind of bait. Like say no, okay. Whatever this is talking about, you you know, if you don't if you don't understand now, it may make sense in a few days, or you know, if it doesn't resonate with you at all, then this is probably not your story. Two 
Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Chariot. This could be regarding a Cancer. Oh no, but your reading is short, uh, Aquarius. Let me see, can you tell me more about this energy that you're telling Aquarius not to fall into, like not to fall into this trap? Okay, so it's it's a coping mechanism, Aquarius. Like you miss somebody. Um, and this is like you opening up the window for communication or opening up the floodgates for communication to come in, like letting this person talk to you again or letting this person in. Okay, I wanna say do not fall for that trap, okay? It's a setup, it's a trap, don't fall for it. Okay, what they're going to do is they're going to let you in. They're going to, they're going to, you know, warm you up, you know, bake you some nice cookies, you know, give you some ham, whatever, like some good stuff. And then they're going to take that away just as fast. Okay, so the, the, the start of this is going to look like communication or it's going to look like receptivity. It's going to look like a text message or somebody reaching out or you reaching out to them. And then it's going to start to go down that path in that cycle and it's going to end up toxic and it's going to end up with you being hurt. Okay. I already, I literally already see how something's going to play out. Like this feels very predictable, but like, don't even like open up the floodgates or don't even like let something get further than the initial stages. Okay. Cause I'm hearing like, this is how it starts. Like that's how they do first. And then, you know, once they got you hook, line and sinker, then it becomes easier to, I don't know. I feel like you're dealing with someone that could be a little bit manipulative. All right. Yeah. Then the betrayal sets in. Okay. I, Okay. What else? Uh, can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius spirit? Can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius? Okay. We got the first chakra Rook. Uh, sorry, sorry. First, first chakra Archangel Michael. Okay. I, I confused root because I, I meant to say root chakra, but it doesn't have that on the card. It's reversed and this deck does have reversals. So I'm going to read the reversed version. When this card shows up in a reversed position, you may be facing some significant challenge and even some very difficult emotions. The energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity, or even depression. This blocked energy could also signify, signal financial worry or desperation. Issues of instability can shake you to your very core. So it's going to be important to get the energy to move to moving to get the energy moving freely through this chakra once again. Call upon Michael for assistance and visualize his light and power filling this area and bringing you a greater sense of your own true strength and eternal stability. Meditate on the affirmation below and feel your sense of safety and balance return. Okay, uh, we have the affirmation. My first chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe, and secure. The Archangel Michael guides and support me always. Okay, so call on to your guides, Aquarius, for support, to support you in some kind of endeavor or to support you in some kind of transition, okay? Um, some of y'all, you know, this thing that you were in, it may have threatened your safety. It may have made you feel uh, a sense of insecurity a lot. It may have made you doubt yourself, okay? You know, not being able to trust certain things. One minute it's this, the next minute it's that, like the inconsistency, Okay, it probably shook up, shook you to the, shook you to your core, uh, messed up your sense of self worth, self esteem. Okay, so there's a need, there's a need to get back to self. Okay, get back to self. Maybe meditate, find different ways to ground yourself, and take care of your most ba basic needs that you may have neglected in like entertaining something. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Okay, that has been your reading. Um, I hope this helps you in some way. I hope it resonates. If it does, I hope it provides you with some clarity moving forward. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.